How's it going, fellow club members? This is Leo Damascus with the Steam Controller Fan Club, and today we're going to give you some tips and tricks for how you can use the trackpad for movement when you're using the Steam Controller. I know there are some of you out there who, for one reason or another, just can't bring yourselves to use movement on the trackpad, but in this particular game, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, you're not going to be able to get away from it, so if you want to play a game like this, you will need to learn, because in this game, both of the, both of the joysticks on a traditional controller control one of the two characters. So for this, I have the left trackpad mapped to a left joystick output, and the right trackpad mapped to a right joystick output. So now, I'm going to go into the game and show you what it looks like in there. So this is Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, and while I'm going into there, I want you to notice on the on the trackpad that I'm actually holding my thumbs just barely above the trackpads. Uh, if you do have a Steam controller, you'll notice that it's slightly different from other controllers in the fact that it curves up on these lower grips here. And the reason for that is they want you to be able to comfortably rest with your fingers just barely floating above the trackpad. And if you do press your palms, into those little divots, it is actually fairly comfortable to hold your thumbs slightly higher. And that's kind of important because when you're using the track pads for movement, you're going to want to treat it kind of like it's an omnidirectional D-pad. So you can, you can see, whereas with a touch stick, if I wanted to move forward, I would have to start with it at the center and then push it in the direction that I want to go. On the trackpad, while I can do that, it's a lot more useful and a lot more quick to just tap on the direction that you want to go. So like I can move forward to move around with this one, I just tap on the right one on the right side, and then the young brother will move in that direction. And any time that I want them to stop, I just move my thumbs to this rest state that having my, 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 the bottoms of my thumbs digging into these, into these trackpads actually helps to keep it elevated and keep it comfortable, even when you're, you're not directly touching it. And you can see that, that these can move around and I'm not having much of an issue with it. In fact, it's kind of comfortable and there's some other advantages. One of the things that I like about it is I I don't like trying to hold the analog stick just a little bit forward. I have a hard time keeping it still because it's always got a little bit of resistance pushing back against my thumb. But with the trackpad, if I want to just move slowly like that, it's just a matter of only pushing partially away from the center of the trackpad. So not very difficult at all. And it's very easy to hold my thumb there for a sustained amount of time. This doesn't have any more stress on my thumb than putting it all the way, like down here. So that's definitely one thing that I appreciate. And if, for whatever reason, when you're playing this game, you can't use the dual trackpad thing in order to get used to it. I do actually have a, a configuration that I've made for this game that works around that. Um, I call it one bro at a time. And let's load it up so that you can see what's going on here. So I'm going to apply the configuration. You'll see that the right trackpad isn't used at all in any of the configurations. That's because what happens is I have it set so that you go to a different action set depending on which of these two buttons you push. So if I want to start using the young brother, I'll push the right one. And what it's doing there is every time that I switch, it's actually going to automatically start pressing the trigger associated with the inactive brother. 
The goal behind having the inactive brother use their action button whenever they're currently not being selected is because there's a, a few points in the game where you have to be swinging around with the active brother while the other one is holding on to a specific place. And I don't want you to fall in situations like that. And if I want to, I also have the select button will use both brothers in tandem. And so you can use that for for most of the basic commands in this game. There are some points where it will slow you down, but it is playable with just the, the one stick using the Steam controller. I don't recommend playing that way. Uh, this game does utilize its control scheme for narrative pur purposes. And if you've beaten the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, if you haven't, I don't want to spoil it. That did not load correctly. Let's see if we can get the right one in. Hmm. Well, I do have it in a template. But anyway. That's this game. You can see it is doing things properly again. I highly recommend this game. It's called Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. And it's kind of difficult to get used to control-wise, but it's worth it for the payoff at the very end. And it's ultimately a fairly clever puzzle game. But I've accomplished what I wanted to. You've gotten to see exactly how... You can use the trackpad for movement. Just remember, treat it like it's a D-pad rather than a joystick, and it'll still move kind of like a joystick, including the, the more subtle kinds of movements than you would have with just the WASD keys. And there you go. This is Leo Damascus, and I'm signing off for now. We're going to do a little bit of a coordinated thing, and then I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.